Hello everyone, this is Zelda Kelly with Psychic Secrets, and I am here with your weekly November 28th through December 4th reading. We're going into December now, as you can tell. <laughs> How have you been? Can you believe December is now at our heels? Oh, and we have a card that just came out, so I don't read reverse, so we're going to put that here. All right, so now... We're going to ask spirits, guides, angels to give us some more cards. In the meantime, this is a general reading, and wow, we have some others that came out, and we're just going to put those out. These are looking fantastic for the week, and let me let me adjust this so you can see this much better. So this is a general reading for all signs. Please take what resonates with you. Okay. Now, and one more card. We've got a healthy mix of cards here, and on the bottom of the deck, the Judgment card. That's a really interesting card, and interesting that it came out. So let's just take a moment and look and see what's going on. Now, the one thing that I want to point out to you is this. I like this card, this Four of swords. Now in the larger card, you will see at the top of this, if you if you want to Google it, you can see it. But if you have a deck, you can see it as well. At the top of this mosaic or this stained glass, there is hidden letters that spell P-A-X. That P-A-X is Latin for peace. I believe that you are coming into a more peaceful week. And I also believe that things now are turning out for you, going in your way, going in your direction, because we've had this, well, this wonderful new moon in Sagittarius, which is very healing and very well manifesting and affirming energy. Set your intentions. We're still kind of in that groove. And I want you to be able to really reap those benefits. So as I can see here, I believe this definitely has a lot to do with money career, has a lot to do with what you're dealing with in your employment or even in your business if you are self-employed right now. You see this page of pentacles. He's a messenger. He brings forth this message. And as you have this peace coming into this week, you're also receiving some balance. You see, I love this card also for you. I always love all cards for you. Why is because, well, we have an indication and a guidance and direction from that. But you see, very interestingly, that this angel has one foot in water, one foot on the ground. There are multiple twos here, which means balance is required. This balance also means that there is a wonderful balance between the subconscious and the conscious mind. And most times when we look at this card from afar, you basically just think, well, that might just be a star or it just may be something in the background. But look closely. That is a crown. That is a crown of achievement. And while you are right here gaining your balance, getting your footing, so as it is, we are reminded that this is just a part of the journey that you have a little further to go. And I do believe that this week will show you that to be true. This little, this little pathway here says that you're close. You're close to the fruition. You're close to the journey, the end. You're close to your, your, your guidance and your direction and your goal and your desire. All of that. That's indicated here by this card, but let's keep going. You're being recognized. And this card, being the eight of pentacles or coins, if you like, shows that you work hard. And I can tell you, I can pick up your vibe. You know you work hard. And you've worked harder this year, I think, than you have in a long time or if even ever. 
This has been a tough year and coming out and going into this month of December, this is going to be a new time because look what this does. It also means that you've mastered your skill. You're very good at your job. You're making sure that what? There is balance in what you're producing, what you're working at. Why do I say that? Well, because look, all of these little pentacles, there's, there's an effort by this craftsman that you are to make them all look the same or close to it. That is balance. So as we go further here, I think this is going to be a natural feeling for you. And I like this idea of you having the peace and the restfulness coming into this week. And that, that time in which you can, you can basically say, okay, look, I need a breather. This is that week for you. But there's a little hesitation here I can feel by you. Because not that you don't know what you're doing, but I believe the hesitation because you do know what you're doing. You know how important it is to go forward into a time, into a week in which you know things are getting so important for you. Also, you are looking over the vast area. You see how this person is looking over this area, believing, seeing, basically, what still needs to be done and choices need to be made. Once again, that correlates with these cards up here. You don't have to worry about hesitating because based on what I'm seeing, you are making the right decision. I'm loving this for you. Now, this card, this is the Eight of Cups, a wonderful card. Now, this person just looks like they just gave up. They quit. They went away. No, you're not a quitter. And no, they didn't. They've accomplished all that they have been able to accomplish. You see these cups here, represented here. There are eight cups. But you see there's a void here. And that void is for the ninth cup. And this person, which is you, is now you've accomplished, you've done all you can, and you're walking toward the nine of cups, which is your heart's desire, right? Look at this little crown here. This is your heart's desire, your goal, your yes card, your putting it together card. And that's exactly what you're doing. All of this just is working in such good harmony. I love this energy for you. Now, this card, the Hermit, does not mean that you're being isolated or that you're alone. But it means that you've had to pull inward to get the answers, get the facts that you've needed in order to go forward. You've needed that for yourself and for perhaps even your family, your home, your friends, whatever the case may be. You did the right thing by pulling inward and seeking those answers from within. Something I want to point out here. You see this hermit is standing on snow. Why is he standing on snow when each one of these cards looks as though it's green grass and water and, and there's no snow in sight? It's because you've reached the pinnacle. You've reached the top of the mountain by moving on walking toward, you've reached, you're reaching your goal. Now, it doesn't mean that his footing isn't right. It doesn't mean that you've lost your footing. It means that you are very wise. And you see this little star in the lantern there. That little star in that lantern is the Star of Solomon. It is a very wise card. It's very good for you. You're using your wisdom Gosh, I love this reading for you. Isn't this wonderful? I just, oh, I can feel this energy for you so much. You're using your wisdom. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go back to this card just for a second. It is normal for you to ponder and think, am I doing the right thing? You're not second guessing yourself. Just making sure that things are in check because that's the wisdom that you're using. How do I know that it's paying off for you? Well, this Ace of Cups. 
This Ace of Cups is a benevolent card and the timing is absolutely perfect for you. Your cup runneth over and there is peace. So you started out with peace in the beginning and restfulness and you're ending up with peace in the end. What a wonderful, wonderful card this is for you. So now let's talk about this little judgment card here. This little judgment card, this judgment card is really something. You see these people down here, well, some people think that they are boats. No, they're not. This angel is awakening. It's, you're, you're coming out of a, what I mean, it's almost like a slumber or a sleep. I'm not going to use the D word because I don't want to give the wrong impression. This is an awakening for you. It's an awakening time because you've got more to accomplish. I love the fact that you've got angels here among you, which means that you're divinely looked after as, as always. But this is a confirmation of that. There's more for you to come. There's more for you. There's more for you to accomplish. Has it been hard? Yes, but this week is going to seem like it's a little better for you. But let's let's get a final message. Let's get a final message and a little confirmation for you. Confirmation for my friends, please. And this final message, a little, little confirmation. Let's see. Okay. What I want to do is we'll just pick out a card randomly. Here we go. This this I know it's <laughs> I know for you, for me, this is apprehension. Here we go. Wonderful. This page of wands is a messenger for you telling that yes, you've made the right choices. And do you see how bountiful, bountiful, bountiful this is for you? You see how what a wonderful opportunity is coming ahead. Even though there's some little mountains you may have to cross, don't you worry. You've gotten on top of one of those mountains already. This is going to come through to you. You see how nicely he's dressed? Yes, that is going to be prosperity and blessings coming for you. Let's check what's on the bottom of the deck real quick. This check, this, this card right here, this hanged man. You're no longer dangling. Why? Because you have been awakened and you see this enlightenment. You're no longer wondering what direction you're going to be going. You have been enlightened and now you know. Very good, my friends. What a wonderful week. I know it's going to work out for you. Why? Because it always does. But I wish you all the best and thank you so much for coming and visiting with me and allowing me to bring this reading to you. A fantastic week in your journey. Oh yes, it certainly is. So thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful week going into this December. And as always, I'll see you again next time.